So customizing keyboard shortcuts. So there are multiple ways, again, to get there. File, settings, user, keyboard shortcuts. And that list, by the way, is alphabetical. So you can just look alphabetically. Button assignments will be at the top. Keyboard shortcuts you know, is middle of the alphabet, so towards the middle or end. Uh, so you'll just look down the list, find the keyboard shortcut. You can do the F4 search like we've done before, like we did with buttons. And shortcuts, you could type shortcuts, that'll work. You could type just short or you could type cuts, either one of those or some variation of that will bring up the shortcut keyboard list. You can also do it the V8i way where you give AccuDraw focus and then do the question mark. Now for this to work, you do have to hold the question of the shift key. If you don't hold the shift key, you will get the the forward slash, which is the divide in AccuDraw. So you do have to hold the shift key uh, because the question is the upper character on that key. But that is probably the fastest, right? One key F11 and then the question mark. So with two keys, we can bring up the keyboard shortcut list. So how does the shortcuts compare if you're looking at V8i, you, if you came from V8i, and many of you I'm sure did, how does this compare? Well, V8i had two shortcut lists. They had the positional mapping, which was for the tools. That was your Q1, Q2, W1, W2, uh, or 3, 1, 3, 2. So they had the positional mapping list, and then they also had, sorry about that, I've got some notification thing on. Uh, and then also they had the uh, AccuDraw shortcuts, right? RQ, RA, V to rotate the compass to the view, uh, O for origin. Now, how, did that, how does that differ? Well, fortunately, the AccuDraw shortcut list in Connect Edition, with four exceptions, is identical to V8i. And those exceptions are not a big deal. So it's uh, easy to learn the Connect Edition version. Uh, the tools in Connect Edition for the tools, instead of doing positional mapping, you you can. It's one list. So in Connect Edition, we have one list of shortcuts. There's not two different lists. That is a beauty because now you don't have to worry about what you did in V8i. VADI, positional mapping, you had to make sure home had focus. So you had to hit the escape key to make sure home had focus or reset on the mouse. Uh, and for AccuDraw, you had to then press F11 or click into the AccuDraw in order or space bar to give AccuDraw focus in VADI. In Connect Edition, whether home has focus or AccuDraw has focus, the shortcuts work. So that is one list. It's beautiful. So I love that. Um, and so to add to your shortcuts, uh, well, well, let's show you this and that's just a review of it. So let's go ahead and just do it. So I'm going to press F11 to give AccuDraw focus, do my question mark, and there is my list of shortcuts. So if you were very familiar with the AccuDraw shortcut list, you're going to look down this list and go, hey, that looks pretty much the same. A for lock angle, B for base, C for center, D for distance, cycle, all of that is identical. So basically all of the single key shortcuts are the same as what they were in, in uh, V8i. Uh, the four that are different, I'll go ahead and just share that real quick. The four that are different, spacebar is not the mode changer now between polar and rectangle mode, it's now M for mode. Well, M used to be multi-point key in. So now multi-point key in, instead of being P for single point key in, you press P for point key in, and then M for multi-point or P for point key in. So P followed by P is point key in, P followed by M is multi-point key in, if you happen to have used those before. Uh, so, yes, it's a little bit different, but not much. And now M is mode. And the other one that's different is Q used to be quit out of AccuDraw. And frankly, I didn't care for it because I would accidentally quit out of AccuDraw when I didn't want to. So now Q 
is your new tools shortcut. So you press Q followed by a letter or number, and that's going to give you all of these tools. So this is the shortcut to all of these tools. So one through seven mirrors exactly the home tab. Attributes, primary, selection, placement, manipulate, modify groups. And you'll see that that's one through seven right there. And then the middle row uh, or the middle section of this would be the next row down on the keyboard on the left is Q all the way through U is selecting, moving, copy, rotate, scale, mirror, delete. And then the row below that on the left side of your keyboard is A all the way through L is the shortcuts that you see there. All right. So we're going to talk about how to add on to this list. My first, again, recommendation for you would be try to add to the list as opposed to, gee, I'm just going to gut this list and do my own thing. Is that possible? Absolutely, it's possible. But if you can get away with just adding to it, I would really suggest that you uh, you add to the list rather than just you know gut the existing list. Uh, so let me give you an example, two examples here. So we're going to add a child to the Quick Tools list. So I'm going to click on the Quick Tools. I'm going to right click and say Add a Child. That'll bring me to the bottom of the Quick Tools menu. I'm going to for now. Here's what I want to do. I want to. Uh, I'm going to hit the back quote key. So the back quote key is the key above the tab, below the escape, and to the left of the one. Same kill key is the tilde. So I'm going to put back quote, tab over, place, smart line. I, you'll see that a lot. I have to like smart line. Uh, and then I'm going to type place smart line as the command. So this is what the user would see, this left one. And the right one is the actual command that will be executed when you do this back quote. So, and I told you before that this could still be up. You do have to click apply. So let me, let me go ahead and apply and close it for just a second. So Q back quote now goes to smart line. So why did I choose back, uh, back quote? A oh, little bit of my own. Uh, this is my opinion on this, but I love Q back quote being smart line. Why? Because where is the, the back quote used? It's used for the bump key in AccuDraw. What does that do? That toggles between arcs and lines. So I can toggle to an arc, draw my arc, toggle back to line, toggle back to an arc, toggle back to line. So I can go back and forth really quickly using the bump key. The bump key does work really, really well with other commands, but honestly, I use it most the smart line. And so by having Q back quote be part of the, the smart line command or the one that initiates the smart line command, it works for me. The other reason I do that is Q1 was the smart line in V8i. So Q back quote is really, really close to Q1. It's the next key over. So Anyway, that's my example of why I use that. So let me go back to AccuDraw, bring back up, and now we're going to add a menu. So we're going to take a look at adding a menu on here. So we're going to go to the very top, and we're going to say add. Instead of add child, we're going to do an add. Now, I'm going to purposely make my machine Bing here. So I always want to type an uppercase you because all these are uppercase, but it won't let you hold the shift key. So you just type the lowercase letter, and as soon as you hit the uh, enter key, it's going to capitalize it for you. So you don't uh, you don't need to hold the shift, and if you do, just let go of it and press U again. So this is going to be a user menu. Now I might. I was doing, I might call it, you know, Mike's user menu or something, but uh, you can make whatever you like. Uh, we don't need to put any command. It's just a menu. And now we're going to add a series of commands on here. So I'm going to, okay, make sure it's highlighted when you do this. Highlight it and then right click and say add a child. And we're going to add a one, 
tab over, do, I'm just going to do smart line again. I told you I like smart line. Um, smart line. I'm going to then add another child. You do have to click back up to user menu, add another child to, and this one tab over. I'm going to do uh, trim multiple, another great command. Lots of great commands in my position. And this is trim multiple is the command. Make sure you spell it correctly. And then the third, and if you don't, it just won't work and you come back in and you fix it. So it's not, not terrible, terrible. And then create complex shape is going to be my third one. And that happens to be create shape icon. And we'll click apply to that. We'll click close. And now if I press U, it pops up with this new menu that I just created. And I could use one, two, or three to pick from that menu, or I could simply click on it. So there's my smart. I already wasn't smart line. So let's do that again. U, here's trim multiple. U, here's create complex shape. And you know, you or I could do U1, U2, U3, and get to those quickly. This could have menus within this, so you could build out your own whole custom menu structure if you want. So you've got that option. Okay, a couple things I want to show. Let's go back to the menu for just a moment. So again, I'm going to give AccuDraw focus and do my shift question. Uh, so again, you could add, add a menu on here if you want. Uh, just add a child and don't put in a command and then put a child under that. And that would be uh, would be a menu if, if you so choose. All right, so this is... Um, there's something else you can reorder. There's an arrow here that will let you reorder the commands if you want. So you could do that. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you here. And that is if you happen to be someone who uses the mouse left-handed, uh, just in my teaching, I find even left-handed tend to use the mouse right-handed. But if you happen to use a mouse left-handed, then you hit the open bracket, the left bracket, will a uh, square bracket will open up the quick tools and then they've mapped the same tools to the right side of the keyboard so you can use the right side of the keyboard as your shortcuts if you like and that was all put in place it's always there always available to you if you want to use them all right so that is our keyboard shortcuts and again those go into the personal dot keyboard file that we saw at the very beginning. All right, let's toggle back to our slides. Uh, so to add a new top level shortcut, you right click and select add, or you can click the, uh, the green, it's an icon with a green area on it uh, with a plus at the top. If, if you want to add a new menu or just a menu with, or something at the top level, Adding a shortcut to an existing menu, highlight the existing menu first, that's important, then right click on it and select add child. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.